these days, you must have heard a lot about unmanned automation and smart factories. So we would like to talk about process automation today. Korea passed a new law regarding working hours last year. Inquiries have increased notably about automation systems. For instance, inquiries have grown about the company's five-axis machining centers as a key component of automation systems. In that context, I'm very much curious about the round pallet system, RPS. Let's take a closer look at the system and listen to an expert's explanation about it. This RPS has a total of 21 pallets with seven on each of the three floors. The pallets on each floor are installed in a circle to minimize the entire space occupied by the units. What about the pallet dimension and workpiece sizes? The pallet dimension is 500 by 500 millimeters. The workpiece height can be 630 by 430 millimeters. And the maximum workpiece weight is 600 kilograms, including the pallet. Do you call this a unit in front of us? What is that for? It is called a fork, which moves the pallet placed on this set up to the rack position, puts the pallet in the rack position into the processing room, and pulls out the pallet from the processing room. Could you talk about its outstanding features? DVF 6500 has a travel distance of 750, 785, and 600 millimeters on the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis respectively. Its rotary table operates at plus minus 120 degrees on the A-axis with a rotational speed of 250 RPM. It comes with two types of spindles, both of which are built-in types. The max spindle speed is 12,000 and 18,000 RPM each. The tool types available are BT, CTDIN, and HSK63. The spindle body seems to taper to its tip rather than being straight. Is there any particular reason for that? The tapering of the spindle body results in a smaller space in the front, which in turn maximizes machining efficiency at the table center. We've looked at some outstanding specifications of the RPS and DVF 6500. Shall we move on and talk about automation a bit more? Usually, customers leave their RPS running on weekends as well as overnight. In that case, it is the software that has to back up the RPS. Could you elaborate on that while watching the screen? The system applied to RPS units is labeled as DPMS, which stands for Doosan Production Management System. The DPMS provides information on four main things. First, we can choose which program to apply to each pallet. Second, we can determine the order of pallet processing on the DPMS. Therefore, we can check all the pallets being processed right now here. Third, we can figure out how many pallets have been processed as well as their details. During processing, the system stops work when an alarm pops up and removes the workpiece from the pallet. Lastly, the workpiece gets transferred to the next pallet to complete its processing with the error information displayed in the last tab here. So at this stage, we can identify the exact location exactly where processing errors have occurred. Next, let me talk about what kind of machine tools are suitable for the application of the RPS system. The RPS system can be applied to vertical machining centers like DNM. It is also desirable for horizontal machining centers such as NHP. It is a wonderful match for a DVF vertical 5-axis machining center that you see over there. During the design process of the RPS-type automation system, I met potential customers and found out that they wanted to have a larger number of pallets above all else. They needed a system with more pallets so that they had no difficulties running the system automatically over the weekend, meaning that they wanted to get all processing done on a single machining tool. Well, we have checked Doosan Machine Tools, RPS System, and DVF 6500 5 Axis Machining Center. Doosan Machine Tools makes great efforts to help you turn your factory into a fully automated workplace. Lastly, thank you, General Manager Chang, for your excellent service today.
Welcome to the Namsan factory of Tusan Machine Tools. My name is Shin Myungsu, and working for the production technology team in Tusan Machine Tools. Today, I will have a presentation with customers about the production process of DVF, 5 Access Machining Center. Beginning with the VC6305AX, a moving column type of 5 Access Machining Center that has been mass produced since 2009. Tucson Machine Tools has produced more than 1,500 five-access machining centers in a lineup composed of diverse sizes and structures. High-precision beds are machined at this site using the five-access machining center DCM. DCM is a specialized machining center used to process large-size workpieces and guarantees machining precision that is not easily changed under the long hour processing load. For each season, constant temperature is managed properly for the five-sided machining center line. In addition, bed machining is performed with a precision machining of 3 micro straightness and 3 micron squareness. Spindle bodies are machined in this precision machining room. This room uses HSP, Tucson's High Precision Finishing Machines, and Jig Center. Major units are machined precisely in this room, including the spindle body, which is the core of the multi-function machine. Temperature and humidity are controlled constantly to maintain precision, and the spindle body machined here is managed at a concentricity of 5 microns or less. All parts machined by the Precision Machining Center are strictly managed through 3D precision measurement and statistical quality control system. We are at the spindle grinding room now. Tucson Machine Tools maintains the highest precision level using Capto Polygon grinding for the first time in Korea. Next, let's move on to the spindle head assembly room. Temperature and humidity are also controlled constantly here to maintain precision. Bearings are assembled in the clean room. The main spindle, which is the core unit of the 5 access machining center, and the rotary table are assembled here. And each unit's reliability is tested at the test bench before being transferred to the large assembly line. We have watched the processing assembly process of bed and spindles major units so far. Now, let's move on to the assembly line to watch the assembly process of the product. Tucson Machine Tools applies a cell production method to the assembly line. This method requires each worker to take responsibility from start to completion. As a result, quality variations are minimized and production stability is achieved at a high level. The LM guide and ball screws are assembled. Stable performance is guaranteed under any machining conditions because all units are mounted vertically on the main structure to achieve a state of stable structural rigidity. When major units are assembled completely, Tucson Machine Tools internal static precision and feed precision standard are applied, which is stricter than ISO standards. ATC test reliability by running in the unit state for up to 24 hours in the unit state and 24 hours continuously in the assembled state. Cutting fluid leak tests and machining tests are performed completely. When assembled finally, the machine is shipped to the customer after outgoing inspection. We have just watched the assembly process of the DVF 5 Access Machining Center. Tucson Machine Tools will continue to provide high-performance, high-quality products and 5-access machining solutions. Thank you.